Welcome back guys, and after last episode, I've went ahead and read all of your comments, and the clear consensus was for me to go ahead and store all of my implements. So I went ahead and did all that. It looks pretty fantastic. Let's just speed up time for our crops to grow out. But as you can see, we've got everything here stored in these little sheds, apart from these trailers, which I'm not even going to attempt to store these trailers up over here because they're almost impossible to reverse with because they've got the two attachments from behind. But I also stored all my cedars, my tractors, a lot of my stuff over here. And here we go with the really expensive machinery I put in the shed. Just because you'd expect the expensive stuff to be in the shed. Another couple of things that you might have noticed is on the left hand side it says Roberts in brackets and then same Argon 375 plus weight. So what that shows is let's go ahead and put on our fertilizer because I still haven't fertilized most of my crop. Still got those little hay bales stack up there but what can you do about it? So firstly I'm just going to go attach my fertilizer which should be almost filled up to the brink. So I think that's what I did. So yeah, this mod is called the Inspector Mod. I will put links down below. I've been looking at mods that change the game script instead of just uh, added machinery. So this changes the game script. So what that does is it just shows us uh, what we have selected and also shows us supposedly uh, when you have hired workers, they come up and they show you how much percent the harvester is full and all that stuff, how much the tipper is full. Things that would really help us out in the long run, I think. So that's why I've got that. Uh, another mod that I have is called the Gripping Mod. I think it just came out a couple of days ago. If we press, I think it's Control. Uh, we can grip all of our vehicles into different sections. And now we can tab just within those grips. You can still tab normally between all your vehicles by pressing Tab. But what you can do is press Control V. And I, as you can see, I just went and tested this mod out. So we have this Argon 75 as well as the as well as a Dutes 7545. So if I do the button that I have binded to switch using con uh, the groups. Wait, that's the wrong button. It's Control C, sorry. So I, all I have to do is press Control C and then it just switches between those two vehicles. So that seems like it's quite a good mod as well. So anyway, back to fertilizing the fields because that's what we need to do. Why do you not go cruise control? I don't know if it's just me, but the textures don't seem to be working all that well for me. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. All oh, right, that's why. I just derped up real big, didn't I? <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah, because before in the last episode, we had a bit of trouble with the sewing textures. I'm not exactly sure why that was going on. But it did sew completely properly. Because we've got canola on that field, but here is potatoes. Oh, great demand for corn at the inn. Let's see if we have any. As you can see, we've got a ridiculous amount of money which you can spend on. I wanted to go ahead and buy a windmill, which is... We've got to go here. That's not machinery, sorry. Excuse me. Oh, yes. Another mod that I have got is the Dutes Cutter. This is the same one that we have, it seems like, but it's just a larger version of it. I, the mods that I do want are realistic mods in terms of tools. I don't want them to be overpowered. But this seems like it was a realistic mod. It's just a lot larger of a header. So I went and bought that. Well, I haven't bought it, but I will buy that. Uh, let's go back to baseball objects. But the wind energy converter was $1.2 million instead of the million that I thought it was. So I won't be saving up for it just yet. I'll come back later. So, yeah, I haven't gone ahead and fertilized this field yet. So let's go ahead and do that before it all grows out. And some of you guys in episode, I think it was 36, complained about my voice. But no one complained about my voice in, on episode 37. And in the comments on 36, some of you guys were saying that it was really bad. And some of you guys were saying that you could hear me clearly and perfectly. Unfortunately, this is the microphone that I'm going to be recording with for the time being, but I think what might have happened is in post-production because what you hear isn't completely my voice. The microphone that I do use has a bit of static. So I use a bit of uh, post-production magic with Audacity by using noise cancellation, and that sort of sometimes makes my voice sound like I'm talking underwater. 
a little bit weirdly. So you'll have to excuse me if that is the case. But I think it should be all good. I just uh, have to sort the audio levels out. I also was using a bit of a microphone boost, is what Microsoft calls it. On Windows, a bit of microphone boost. I think it was up to 20% because I left it on from the last microphone that I was using. So I just put it down to 10 decibels. I, I put it down to zero, but there was a, uh, I had troubles doing all my stuff with it. But anyway, let's continue on talking about gameplay. So because we don't have anything uh, working for us as in hired workers, uh, it's not really showing us too much information, this inspector mod, but believe me, what I have read of it and what I've heard is that it is very, very good. So I'll definitely look forward to seeing how it works once we have hired workers. And we're back. Sorry for that little impromptu break. It's just that I had to go ahead and steal the batteries out of my TV remote, which always ends up working really well because then when I try to operate the TV, it won't work. But we've got more pressing issues such as fertilizing the rest of this field. We're almost done. Clearly I did it in patches, but because it's in such a large amount, it won't really be bothering us. So I think we can speed up time back up again. Start folding this up as well. There we go. And I will start putting my stuff away properly. So hopefully you guys will love me for that. Drive off again. So with our money, we're going to be buying that new mod, the Dutes Cutter or Dets, however you say it, I always get it wrong. Oh well. And plus I get to ruffle a few feathers by saying it wrong, so it doesn't really bother me. Oh, this activated. I think I turned it on. So that's why it's on. After all, it is uh, activated by sensing, motion, motion sensing. But it lags up the game a little bit, just because of the lighting, I guess. It's not too optimized. There we go, that is perfect. That deserves a massive like from you guys that complained about my organization skills. I know these trailers are there, but they need to be out, to be honest. It doesn't really bother me too much. Hopefully it doesn't bother you. Then again, I do love my stuff messy. So, what are we on to now? Not much, really. I'm just waiting for our stuff to grow out, so. After all, we're playing at 120 times speed. First, this guy over here. Let's go to the shop. And at the shop, let's go to mods. There we go. We'll buy two of these cutters. Buy and buy. Now we gotta go press escape. Spawn them back here. Oh, there we go. Our field is all, is all ready. At least most of it is. So. Another thing I've noticed, I went ahead and tested all these mods out before, is that uh, the actual physics of this are the same as the original 7545. So they do go through buildings and stuff. The motion, well, yeah, the collision detection is what I want to get at, is a little bit glitched. But nothing we can't fix, so let's get both of our harvesters out. So here's our corn header and here's our other stuff header. On that side, I'm not going to... not too sure where I'll place the other headers. Probably on either side of this little barn. It's already night time as well. I think I better slow down time. I really don't like playing in the night time. But, oh, let's actually turn on our work lights. There we go. Haven't really checked out the work lights for this machine. Try not to glitch it up too much. And I'm going to reverse a little bit. So I'm interested to see how the inspector mod will work now. We had it. Okay. So, it is very much larger, this 7545. It's almost double the size. Doesn't look like the pixels for it have decreased or halved, so... That's good to see. I wonder how quick it will actually chow through everything. Hopefully not too quickly. Let's check the crops. Okay, it's still that little bit. No, that's ready. It does speed time up a little bit more. I just want it to be daytime by the time everything will be ready. 
I don't like it at night. And so, as you can see, the collision detection just lets us pretty much go through anything and anything we want. Not that I'm complaining. Because it'd be quite hard with this header because you can't fold it, unlike the corn ones. So they all have their positives and negatives. Another thing we should check out is the prices for sugar beets. Wow. So we sold, sold sugar beets for double that price. They were $1,500 almost up at the inn. So now you can see that uh, they cost pretty much nothing if you sell them. So they've gone down to half price pretty much. That's pretty good. We made a lot of money really quickly. So let's hire this guy. He comes up with the H that he's hired. Supposedly the image on the map also changes. I don't think it does though. I'm not exactly sure how that works out. Oh, it actually shows us how much percent. That's good. As it said it would. So, I really need to fix up my uh, grouping mod. That's what I need to fix up. So we don't tab between everything and everything. And everything and anything. <laughs> what I want to say. Or I jumble up my words too much. Is that that? Battery power screwed me over. So you'd think that with a headset, it'd be charging up if it's plugged into the USB port. Clearly not, I guess. A bit unfortunate, really. So I'm going to be chugging away through battery power as well. Okay, our potatoes are almost ready over there. As I'd, I'll put both mod links down below to the script mods, not this guy. Because there's so many dodgy websites out there as well with farming simulator mods. I downloaded the script mods off LSUK, so you know that's a good mod. Uh, web, mod wedding. Mod website. Yeah, yep, that crop's ready. I'm just going to say, I want to play until it becomes daytime. Hopefully our crops won't wither away. I'm really hoping that's the case. Is anything selling for really good? Not Nothing much, really. I think we'll need to start selling our stuff to different places instead of just where they sell the best at. Let's check. Everything should be ready now, shouldn't it? No, you're the sugar beet harvester. You are the potato harvester. This is some really nice pack mods that just come with uh, a large selection of different vehicles, but they all are focused around like a company or something like that, like Scania. There's a couple of Scania truck mods out there and trailer mods. They look really good as well. So I'll definitely give them a try. We're losing money really quickly. Should, yeah. It's like a dollar and then 20. A dollar and then 20. Or 19. Every second or so. All right, so let's go on to this massive field. Fire our, oh, we've got to unfold it first. Now let's wait until it becomes 6 a.m. because that's when the sun really comes out. Like it changes every hour, it's like it's really scripted. Okay. And there we go, we've got three of our guys working hard. Yeah, it's, yeah. another problem with these guys is he'll probably get stuck very easily. So it's time to slow down the time. Something a little bit more realistic. And off we go. It's going to be really good in terms of uh, canola. 
Alrighty. So what I'll be doing from now on is I'll just be waiting until great demands. We're going to mass spam each and every one of our fields with different crops. So then I'll have lots of different crops and when a great demand hits, I'll be able to satisfy that great demand. I think that's the way to go for me at least. Ah, another problem. Yes, the cutter. Because it's so big. Oh, you can't drop What? I didn't really think of that there, did I? That's weird. So it glitches through th some things and then others it doesn't. Let's see. Let's test it again. Oh no, it's going to be like the, the right length. Okay. Sorry. I didn't mean that. I just want all your candy. And we'll go ahead. Ah, oh, right. That's the colors that they were talking about. So the color now, because it's turned into an orange, as you can see, the bottom dutes, or dets, doits, no, doits is how you say it. That's how you say it, doits. It's turned into an orange text, so that means it's 80% uh, or above. So let's go ahead and uh, get rid of that 80%. So many of you guys wanted the Lamborghini as well, and you know what? I know I probably shouldn't be buying the Lamborghini. Let's go ahead and check out the tractors. We have the money, so... Yeah, so many of you want the Lamborghini, but... It's 110 horsepower. I'd much rather get, say, something like this, the Agrotron 720. Just get that, because that's got double the horsepower, doesn't it? 262. More than double the horsepower. So, sorry guys, but you lose. I'm getting this. Many of you guys wanted me to get the quad track, but that was a pretty big waste. So I'm going to go with what I want once, and then we'll get the Deutsche Agrotron X720. Uh, and with that, we'll also buy a front loader. We'll buy the best one. This one. This is fantastic because you can have a header at the front, something at the front, and then something at the back, and then you also have the forklift or the arm. So buy that. And we'll buy all the attachments for it. Which I don't think I really need these two at the bottom. So we'll leave that as it is. This guy's done. What I'm really looking forward to are some mods that enable us to have different crops as well. That's probably something that I'm looking forward to the most. I think that would be amazing to be able to see uh, different crops and be able to work on them instead of just the five that we have currently. Okay, off we go. I think this mod also works really well with multiplayer because it says Robert because that's my profile so I guess if you're playing with someone else and say their name as well we'll show who's driving what. So we need to go to the potato harvesting guy so let's hook you up the schlufer up to this guy. What I think I'll download next is another Scania truck mod although it's for this game. I think that'd be really cool. And it's made specifically for this trailer, so you don't need that Sega Duo, whatever it's called. Because it comes with its own chassis. chassis. Whatever. So, we're going to the potatoes now. Hopefully the mods aren't too intrusive. Thankfully it's all fertilized this ground, even though I thought it wasn't. And thankfully this guy takes up seeds from anywhere. He can take the really high trailers up as well. It's a big help.
do pretty much done everything that there is to do in terms of buying the best types of machinery. So I'm looking forward to some different mods and mods will be start to be a little bit more featured in this let's play from now on. Hopefully that's alright with all you guys. I think it will be. It just makes it so much more interesting as well. Because I've been reading on some forums, lots of people had the same uh, disappointment that I had of this game because it's just so similar to 2011. But then people were saying that it changes a lot with mods and the, the game company uh, giants make it good, but the modders just make it all that much better. So I will be playing with a lot more mods, although I'll try to keep them at least a little bit realistic. Why do you turn on? It's already, it's only, well, it is already 646. We don't need the lights anymore. So potatoes are over here. And actually, I don't... Why am I even going ahead and trying to deliver them? I don't need to deliver the potatoes yet. What am I doing? We've got another... Okay. Still got $152,000 as well. All that money we could buy. You know what I'll do with that money? I know what I'll do. Just set this guy back up on over here. Let's bring our new toys. Oh, we got a bit of withered crop. Oh well. Woohoo. So let's bring everything here. Alright, so you stop because that's dead. Okay. Fair enough. Are you even moving if you stopped? I think he's stopped because he's done like everything there is to do. Really? Why did that happen? That's weird. Okay. Over here we go. Set him up on the right path. Sucks that a bit of canola died out. But yeah. What can you do? We wanted to do this in daytime. So none of you guys were complaining that I don't turn my lights on. I don't like playing at night at all. I'd rather see the crop all work properly and all that. So. Yeah, the crop in all its glory looks quite fantastic. Like this little picture. There we go. The sun as a focal point. So let's go check out our new chapters that which we, which we tabbed through. There we go. So this is a guy with the arm. That makes sense. Let's attach this. At least attempt to. I guess I still have a lot to learn. Okay, so it's got like an arm as uh, so technically difficult. I think that's how we'd put it on. Just have to lower it a little bit. Nope. Definitely not doing this right. Let's get rid of the PDA so I can see what we're doing. Hmm. Yeah, no, I don't think... This is how you put it on. Something like so. How do we extend it anymore? It's all very interesting. Very difficult. We're going to have to do this. I'm going to have to learn how to use this by myself. Unless I bought the thing for the... No, this is completely wrong, isn't it? Derp to derp. <laughs> That's for the wrong machine. Oh, I worry myself sometimes. There we go. This is what we want. This is the uh, thing to spike our bales with. So I'll go use this a little later on. And here's the brand new tractor. This is the best one that we've got. Let's just go out on the field and just use it full speed. I just want to check it out. How fast does it go? I only managed to go 32 miles an hour. That's still good. Let's so actually attach this guy to the tractor. I just want to test it out when it's got maximum load. See how it does. Uh, what do we need? The potato guys is 66%. Let's go to this guy. So he's only going at 18 miles an hour. Maybe I'll need a barrel. That's what we'll go ahead and buy. 
haven't bought a button. There we go. In the shop. Yeah, so I accidentally was using the thing for the the Wiedemann. The Wiedemann large or pallet fork, whatever. Either one. So let's buy a couple of things. Let's buy a header trailer. Okay. And let's buy some weights. Let's buy two more. I do know that uh, there was one behind that uh, shed over there as well. Oh well. So let's spawn them back. I'm going to have to start putting my vehicles back in so you guys stop complaining. And don't start complaining. So we have to bring our new toys in. Okay. The headed trailer looks interesting. I'll have to see in how that all works out. Test it out. Okay, back inside, let's have a look inside. A nice couple of joysticks. Looks like an Xbox controller. Alright, now to see. Yeah, it does go faster now with the weights at front. It goes a lot faster. It goes full speed with the weight out front. Very good. Get out of cruise control, I don't care. There you go. So, off we go. I think that guy has stopped working, hasn't he? Yep, because he reached the dead. Oh. Let's go to him. Yeah, so by next episode, I will have figured out how to use the mod properly that enables us to group vehicles because I just keep on tabbing and tabbing and tabbing. And you might tab through your vehicle and you just don't really realize it. Which is usually how I play my game. I just keep on tabbing until I realize that I've gone over the thing that I want about a million and one times. But yeah, from now on I'll just be storing my stuff away. Waiting for a great demand. Because I don't really need any more money. Still got $146,000 just waiting away. So, I think what we'll do next episode is we'll try to get 100% milk production. It's been a little while since we've done that. Of course, I've got all these new toys. Let's just check what you need for 100% production. Statistics. And... There we go. Uh, so, we need... Mixed rations are gay, I'd say, or guess. Silage and grass. And then we need straw by itself. Like straw bales. We can do that. We can do that right now. Let's see if it will actually work. So before we buy any cows, we'll go ahead and give a maximum feed. See if that works. I think he... Oh, uh, no. I didn't think that would work. We'll have to wait and see. Although it's going to happen pretty quickly because these tractors go mighty fast. At least we can see a little bit better as well with this forklift. Or um, out front. It's not as intrusive. The thing, well... I could also buy some more fields. I should check out the field prices because there were some fields that I didn't want to buy. But firstly, what I want to do is check up if we can give the cows some food, even if they're not there, if they're non-existent. Okay, there we go. Works perfectly, it seems like. So this should be just placeable over here, like so I'd say. No, oh. no, no, no. Lift it back up. Reverse, and then we lower it. Well, before we fail, let's go ahead and buy some cows in. Maybe that would help us out a little bit. Animals, cows. 20 is enough. All right. There we go. Hello, cows. So should I drop it into the trough or what? How do you want the straw? 
Uh, unless they want the straw through a forage wagon, maybe that's what they want. Because this, yeah, this doesn't work. Clearly. We're never going to be able to get that veil back, are we? Definitely not. Let's give it a try giving it to the mixing wagon, though. Maybe that'll be a bit easier. With this new machine. Yeah, look at that. We've, does that work? We only spiked one bale and we got two. There we go. Wasn't too difficult. Bit unrealistic, maybe. And we're sort of stuck now. have to go to the other yeah this guy drive forward that should work there we go so we've got a lot of straw i need some silage i think we've got silage here left over we should i don't think i used that much silage there did i no it's gone it must have disappeared with uh when i changed the map i think that's what would have happened so i think next episode what i'll do is go ahead and cut some grass I change a bit of it into hay and get just get normal grass as well. What else should we do? Oh, you, you're in the way. Sorry. Try to get to one of these tractors. So much tabbing about everywhere. Keep on forgetting about all my vehicles. Now you're full. Okay. Let's go over to you. So that guy can keep working. Yeah, what, what I've noticed as well is that, well, no, forget that thought. I was going to say that the AI sort of thinks that the header is only as big as the previous 7545. But it's actually not. It takes up a lot more space as well now and harvests it all. So that's good. So it actually is good for using workers with as well. Anyway, I think that will be the end of the episode. We'll go. We'll be back. I'll be sowing some more stuff on these fields, probably on this one first up. I'll go ahead and do the stuff on the potatoes because I still need to go ahead and work over there. But until then, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed. Make sure you check out the mods down below. Um, I did put my game save in the last episode, so if you haven't checked that out, make sure you do if you're keen. And see you later, guys.